Hi guys, so today I wanted to show you guys basically what my makeup routine is for a day to day. Um, as you guys have seen on my Snapchat, a lot of times I'm not even wearing makeup or I'm wearing a little bit of makeup like I am today. Um, I just have no time to be honest. Um, and you know, I'll do my makeup up like on the weekend if I go out with my husband, if I have an event for a party, of course. Like, I love to do my makeup, but reality is that I have no time while I get Ben ready and get Emmy ready and get myself ready, try to do my hair. Um, so I just basically for a day to day go with a simple uh, makeup. Now, first thing, this is not going to be like a makeup tutorial. I am no makeup expert by any means. Um, I just, you know, um, want to share with you guys what works for me. Um, I know a lot of you have snapped me back saying like, please tell me like what you use or what's your skincare routine, what you guys saw in the other video. Um, and a lot of times um, you also want to know what I'm using for my face. Now, always remember that I always do like great lighting in my video. So I don't think that I have like amazing skin, but you know, we are so, um, I guess, judgy with ourselves, you know, we're like our own worst critic, but, um, I am not complaining, but, um, I think it could do a lot better, but, um, so let's get started and let's do like what makeup products I use. I hope you guys like this video. Um, so let's do this. Um, so after I've washed my makeup and you know put my moisturizer on and done all of that, I usually go um, with a BB cream. The one I've been using lately is this L'Oreal one. Um, I know now they have like a CC cream and maybe they probably even have a DP cream. Who knows? <laughs> um, I use a BB cream. Um, it's this Youth Code one that I love. I actually have to buy a new one because I'm running out. What I love most about this one is that it's soft, um, it's natural. And it actually gives me like this little glow that I like. So this like little dewy look. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, this little dewy look um, that I really, really enjoy. Because I don't want my skin to look super matted. You know, especially right now that's like a trend. You know, the glow, the highlighter. Um, and I really love that. Thank you, J-Lo. Um, so yeah, that's the one that I use. Um, after I apply this, I start with um, this eyeshadow primer potion. I don't do eyeshadow for day to day, but I love that this kind of um, just blends in into, you know, my eyelid and it gives me a very natural look. So this is like, okay, so I'll apply my BB cream, you know, I'll do it super fast, do, 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 do. I'll, you know, open this, put it on my eyelid and with my ring finger, I'll just like dab it on and to finish it off, I'll use my, um, my little um, sponge, um, beauty blender and just so it could look like nice and even and um you know natural so that's that i love this thing i've used this for years um i used to use the one that's purple like the, the you know the original one um but i got this as a gift and i really really love it so i definitely recommend this one so that's the eyes that's about it for my eyes um i'll do like my eyebrows of course i have to fill it in because i think the more to be honest i think the more that i thread pluck wax whatever my eyebrows the less eyebrows i have I have no idea how. I'm not talking about thin. I just feel like like they're not as, you know, full. But um, in any case, so I use the Brow Beater by Urban Decay. It's so good. I used to use the Urban Decay um, powder eyeshadow, the duo. But um, this is so much easier. It's, you know, faster for me and looks a lot more natural in my opinion. Um, so I'll start off by like brushing them up. Do, 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 do. And then I'll do my little, you know, I start off in the center, which is what they taught us at this brow book camp that we went to over the summer. So I'll do, they say to do like the center first and then work your way out, you know, filling them in. Then you can do like outline it here very softly. You don't want it to be like, um, super like outlined. And then you can do like the ends and, and you can even do this like this, which is what I do. So it could look like, you know, hair. Um, and not just like a painted on eyebrow, which we don't want that. So that's my, you know, brow pencil that I use. After that, that I've done all of that, I actually go and put on my um, NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. This concealer is thebomb.com, you guys. Um, I use the color CJ04, which is beige. Um, that's my son playing the little, you know, fire truck. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I use the CJ04 concealer. It's amazing. The coverage is so good. That boy. <laughs> um, I 
just like apply it with my ring finger again on here i'll put a lot on it like i'll put like maybe like from you know the bottom of my eyes all the way to like the middle of my cheeks um and you know i love that because it helps me with my dark circles um and then i'll just like you know finish blending it in with my beauty blender after that i use this um you know you guys know so much about mac um studio fix this one is c4 is a studio fix powder um i love this thing i used to use it with the sponge i have my personal background i used to use it with the sponge but i don't like that anymore that was like years ago that i did so what i do now is i just basically use my um luxie round top blender and i just um go like this and i'll just like blend in just a little bit and it gives me like the perfect like coverage like it covers my redness it covers my you know um spots since i have you know the concealer on by now i have bb cream and this is just like the cherry on top like it just makes it really nice and blended and super natural looking um after that i go on and do some blush i really love this one by number seven which is something they saw at walgreens um, I love that it has like a few um, as you can see like shades um, I even sometimes just like grab the dark one with a thinner pencil and do kind of like a contour not for my day to day I'm talking about for when I actually do a full face of makeup but um so for day to day I'll just go like this blow it a little bit and just apply it like, on the apples on my cheeks so I'll, go, I'll do something like this you know like that and I like dab some on, on my nose and kind of just very simple nothing crazy um, again this is my Luxie large powder one but I use it for blush because it's so soft and I love it you guys saw that on my own um, holiday um, gift guide after that um, I'll just you know finish off my mascara after I curl them I love this one by wet and wild I actually got this one because of a promotion that I did with them and I have not stopped using this since. It's $5 and it's amazing. Like I definitely recommend this one. It's one of my favorite um, yet. So try this, Ooh, especially if you're on a budget. It's really, really good. Um, if I have time, to be honest, I'm not wearing um, lipstick or you know lip pencils or lip gloss, whatever, every single day. But my goal um, is definitely Velvet Teddy by MAC. It's this nude. Um, I love it. I don't have it on right now. Um, but also I like this one. It's more creamy and more sheen. This one is called Creme de Nude and it's also by MAC and I definitely recommend it. I'll like do the detail of what I'm using, um, on the bottom here so you guys can check it out if you like. Um, as far as a lip gloss that's nude, which, you know, nude is all the trend right now. As far as a lip gloss, I love this one by Circa. Um, this is Eva Mendes um, line that they sell at the drugstores like Walgreens and this one is Lustrous Shine Lip Finish in Lovely Lace. Um, so I love this. It's um, you know a cheap alternative and it's an amazing quality and I really love it because it lasts. The one that I have on right now um, is one that I've loved lately. It's from Lancome and this is the number 200. And it really, really, it's so pretty. It's so soft, like, when you apply it. And it lasts all day. And it still gives you, like, that matted look that you can see in my lips. Um, they have more than a few colors on this one. They have, like, a darker one. But this is definitely one of my favorites. So, if I'm using lipstick, lip gloss, lip stain, whatever that day, I'll do one of these four for sure. Um, sometimes I'll just do, like, my EOS ball and I, I'm out the door. I, ha I keep that in my bag at all times, especially during the winter. Um, but that's basically it. If I am feeling like I have an extra 30 seconds, I will go ahead and apply a little bit of illuminator. It's this Powder Glow um, L'Oreal True Match Lumi. It's so pretty, and I don't know if you can see the shine, but it's so shimmery, and it has like the four different you know colors in the quad. I'll use it with this large angle brush by you know Luxie. And um, I just, you know, apply it and it looks so pretty and gives me like a lively glow that I really, really love and enjoy. Um, well, I hope you guys really loved this video. Enjoy it. I said and loved. What is wrong with me? And loved should be a new word. Enjoy and love. And loved. 
<laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed this video uh, and please give me more ideas on what you like I really appreciate and love my snapchat family um, you guys are truly the best I love reading your messages and when you like send me a private message on Instagram of something you saw that reminded you of me I really really appreciate that so keep them coming um, send me you know um, emails and comments about what you like to see and I hope you have an amazing year. I hope that you're starting your year off happy, that you have a lot of health, and that you keep watching. So if you're not a subscriber, subscribe or give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Mwah.